people, it's me, Danny Graham, aka Comic Chat, your boy, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm just trying to figure out real life versus comic book life. I say again, real life versus comic book life. The definition of real life, when I looked it up, it says existing or occurring in reality, drawn from or drawing in actual events or situations, real life problems, real life drama. Well, right now, in real life, we're going through a civil war, and the civil war is over something that's not real. Last time I checked, the Snyder Cut characters aren't real. There is no Batman, there is no Superman. But this man, Zack Snyder, has created such a storm, such a, a strong feeling one way or the other, whether you're a supporter or a hater, that it is causing a serious civil war here in the YouTube community. Uh, two guys that used to be friends are no longer friends because of differences that they see. Now, the last time that I checked, Star Wars and many other movies that we critique, that we watch, that we love, is fictitious. It's not real. So, feelings that you have about something that's not real, is that really wise? X-Men, another one. We all love Wolverine, Mystique, Professor X, Magneto. These are some of our favorite characters. But you got to check yourself because these characters aren't real. Stan Lee, they're from the man of Stan Lee and other writers and developers. As well as the Avengers. The Avenger movies are awesome. Um, I'm telling you, Infinity War, Endgame were two of my favorite movies. But I know there is no Iron Man, there is no Thor, there is no Black Widow, there is no Captain America. Another movie, uh, Black Panther. There is no heart-shaped herb that's going to undo you with super strength and speed and dexterity. There is no shirt that's going to devise these suits. There is no Wakanda. There is no vibranium. Last time I checked, there is no Peter Parker. There is no radioactive spider that can bite you and enhance you and give you powers of a human living spider. No one can climb a web, or, I mean, climb a wall or spin a web. No one can do the things that Spider-Man do. This is all from the mind and imagination of Stan Lee. So Zack Snyder, as great as you are, as talented as you are, this Zack Snyder cut is causing a serious, serious problem, a serious civil civil war, in my opinion. That's right, in my opinion, this is what I'm thinking. Well, I'm not thinking that you meant to do this, but for whatever reason, the Zack Snyder cut is causing a great divide. So my question is, I think black I think we should blame Zack. Or should we blame Zach? Um, I'm telling you, the Civil War that I've seen and discussed early in the film is live and it's real, but it's over something that is fictitious, over characters that are never going to come to life, over opinions that people are choosing sides, friendships are being broken, over something that's fictitious, something that's to bring us entertainment and enjoyment and escapism. So tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Later and peace.